What's up, guys? What's up? So, we're back on another adventure. Yes, we're back on another one. And this time it's actually with Toyota. Yep. We just arrived in Norfolk, Virginia. Our flight landed here around 8 30 or so. And we were given our Toyota Corolla. We're actually yeah. driving the Toyota Hatchback Corolla, which is really cool. We've never driven this before, right? I don't think yeah, so. It's super nice. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, and then we are on our way now to Corolla, North Carolina. Which is not pronounced Corolla. It's not、right? pronounced, but it looks like it. It's actually、yeah. pronounced c o r a l l a I believe. That's what I had heard on some of the. I、like, gotta double check you on that because that just doesn't sound right to me, but maybe、Megan's, that's what it is. Megan's always fact checking me, and she has to because <laughs> sometimes I'd, be, I'd just be saying stuff. But it's spelled just like Corolla, so we will see. Yeah. The reason we're here is Toyota has asked us to come here and we're going to be meeting some other people that work with Toyota and we're going to be exchanging Corollas on the trip. We're going to be exploring the Outer Banks,、uh, which we're so excited about because it's really unmaintained area and it's got like wild horses that roam on the beach and stuff, which is so cool. So excited about that. Yeah. So. Yeah, we're so excited to explore and you know, see what all we get into. We got a couple of fancy dinners that we'll be going to. Yeah, we're super excited. So it's just an event with Corolla or with Toyota, and we're so excited to be a part of it. So、yeah. we're definitely going to bring you guys along and、yeah. show you what it's like. We're so thankful to be a part of it. We'll show you what all we get into. We're going to be getting a bunch of shots of the Corolla in c o r a l l a And、um, <laughs> yeah, we'll take you guys along on the adventure. Yep, see ya. All right. We made it to k e r a l a We made it!、And、I thought I... she pronounced it k e r a l a k e r a l a It's k e r a l a Oh, now I'm saying k e r a l a Yeah. k e r a l a It's k e r a l a Or at least that's how one of our Toyota contacts pronounced it. Yeah, Kimberly was saying k e r a l a Yeah. That's correct. Yeah, that sounds more right. Yeah. It's an O. Corolla. 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 Okay. We're in、uh, the Corolla and Corolla. Yeah. Yeah. So honestly, this trip is going to be so cool. The, we ended up getting here really early. Check in was at four, but we got here at 12.、Um, yeah, let us check in early, which is amazing. That's huge. This room is sick, too. Well,、um, it's so pretty. It's actually really big and it's got a really cool view and everything. This hotel is really cool. It looks just like Outer Banks vibes. It's、mm -hmm. the old beat up wood and everything, but still so classy and beautiful. Um, so, yeah, we're excited to be here. And we just found out that they actually will allow you to drive your vehicle on the beach here to see the horses. That is super exciting. We are definitely going to have to do that at some point while we're、yeah. here. We got to see the wild horses on the beach. Oh, yeah, for And sure. And what a cool experience to be able to drive on the beach. We've never done that before. Yeah, I know. Because they can do it in like Daytona and stuff, and we've never gone to this area. So, it's, it's really cool. Yeah. We got to our room and we actually have a little gift when we checked in. They made us a little gift. So,、yes. Megan is going to open it up and、uh, see what kind of goodies they have. A little、got. goodie bag. It says James and Meg. And is it Curatuck? I don't know. Yeah, that's the brand that makes the bag, huh? I do not know. I think so. I thought Curatuck was a place. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, visit Curatuck. Yeah, you're right.、Mm -hmm. Cool. So. Let's open up our goodie bag and see what we've got. So we've got some little, looks like some like pamphlets of things to do and whatnot. Some postcards. Yeah, that's cool. That is cool. Dang. Yeah, a couple postcards. Those、that's、are really cute. cute. I know. We've got some maps, info on the place we're staying, 
all about the wild horses. So a bunch of info. And we've got more maps and little like magazines that tell about our stay. Ooh. Got some, looks like it's saltwater taffy too, which is the best. I'm excited about that. Yeah. We've got some Carolina kettle, so some kettle cooked potato chips. Nice. These are always good. These are the sea salt flavor, so those will be good. And then we've got some branded tumblers, which is awesome. Nice. Yeah, I got a little nice little handle That's and sick. everything. Those are really nice. I know, those are cute. Not to mention a sick beach bag. Oh. You were just saying you needed need some that. chapstick. <laughs> Got some yeah. Toyota chapstick. Ooh, stickers, is this stickers? Nice. Cute. That's super cute, you'll love that. Heck yeah. Got some Outer Bank stickers. I love it. I love that too. So cool. And then it looks like we've got some little, oh, some more stickers. What is this, a towel? Beach blanket type situation? I think so. Yeah, nice. That's it. Yeah. That's cool. That's really cool. Got a little branded towel. I love it. Yeah, like so we've got picnic. two of those. Nice. Sweet. That's nice awesome. Nice little beach bag. Yeah, so sweet. Yeah, we've, uh, one of our first things that we ever did with Toyota was with Kimberly. Mm -hmm. And she's so sweet. We went to the Gator Bowl with her and it was so awesome. Yes, and shout out Kimberly because she is the best. Yeah. Always so, so sweet. We're so excited to, to be here and be here with her and meet everyone. We're yeah. excited to take you guys along. And just explore this place. We're super pumped. Yeah, it was so beautiful driving in. So we can't wait to show you uh, what all we see. We'll show you the place and uh, we'll take you along the ride. We just got in from dinner and we went across the street to Kimberly's kitchen and it was a absolutely perfect spot and I truly mean that. Yes, it was a beautiful spot to watch the sunset over the water which was so nice. If you're in Outer Banks, highly recommend that place because truly I don't think you could get a better sunset view. Like. Right. The windows are all just open right there for you to watch the sun go down as you're eating dinner. Yeah, it's panoramic it's perfect. views with, of the sunset and the water. And it was so beautiful as you sat there and ate dinner. And we had, what, three-course meal, which was so nice. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, we, we had like a little cocktail hour, and then we were mingling with everyone, met everyone. Everyone was so cool and so awesome. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it was really great I, I loved everyone that we met they were all so sweet yeah a couple from charlotte a couple from philadelphia from new jersey um, new york florida yeah a little bit of yeah pretty the much east covering coast. all yeah. the east coast mm -hmm. so um, really cool maybe we can introduce you guys to some of those people tomorrow tomorrow night but yeah it was it was really awesome we just got to mingle and meet everyone and we had dinner megan and i got salmon mills which we were both so got good the salmon and it was delicious and we also got a yummy wedge salad wedge salad and to then start. we had what was it strawberry cheesecake to finish it off and that, that strawberry like cheesecake kind of like was fire vanilla bean cheesecake or something that didn't was, it taste different it was so good it yeah. was so good um but yeah earlier today we honestly just drove up the road along the coast here and we drove up to uh corrala and that's how you say it right no corrala 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 and um we went and got a picture and a video in front of the sign which it was really cool and it's a really the, all of their signs are so beautiful and then we drove back down to duck and duck has a lot of really cute shops and restaurants mm -hmm. and uh, ice cream places and things like that. You can tell that it's actually a really popular spot during the summertime. Yeah, we got a handful of recommendations there. So, yeah. Excited to So, try we're going to explore out. some of that tomorrow and then we're going to drive up and down the coast tomorrow and see, you know, some lighthouses, some different historical things. They also have like a, a Wright Brothers memorial that we might go check out. So, 
a lot of really cool things to see and we're really crossing our fingers and hoping that we get to see the wild horses. We thought originally we were gonna to get to the opportunity to drive the car on the beach, but it turns out that we're not gonna be able to do that. Uh, you have to have a four by four to do that and our mm -hmm. car is unfortunately not that. We're gonna go up there and explore a little bit tomorrow and we're crossing our fingers we get a chance to see them. If not, we might actually do a little tour just to go see them because I think that would be really cool. Yeah, I would love to do that. Um, I think we're going to sign off tonight. Got anything else to add, Meg? I don't think so. I think I you think covered so. most of it. <laughs> we're running on two hours of sleep. Yes, I'm so very tired. So we are going to wind down and hit the bed, and we've got another long day tomorrow exploring Corala. <laughs> Say it again. Corala. It's an Corala. O. Corala. It's an O. Just think about it. We're going to explore Corala. We're exploring Corala <laughs> and the surrounding towns. We're exploring Outer Banks. Yeah, so. Outer Banks. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> see ya. Good night. So, day two. Day two. In Outer Banks. Yes. So, we are out and about today, and we actually just stopped at Duck Donuts. Mm -hmm. So, they have one in Duck and we're actually down in Kitty Hawk because that's the only one open currently for the season. All only like 10 minutes apart. So. Yeah, yeah. There's a bunch of really cute little small towns on this um, little island. I like communities, island. it seems. Yeah, yeah. like they're, they're very small and just all right here together. So. Yeah. So yeah, we had to go into Duck Donuts because it's a highly recommended spot and it's a really cool spot. Yeah. And I actually, Megan and I both got a donut Sandwich. Sandwich. <laughs> it's got egg, sausage, and cheese on it. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I'm gonna do bite. a little first bite and let you know how it is. Good. All right, I gotta try mine. It's got some like really mm. good sweetness to it. Yeah. Never had like something like that before. Oh, that's good. Yeah, the sweetness of the donut with everything else combined. That is really good. From a calories perspective. Yum, not good for you. Probably not great, <laughs> but taste wise, 10 out of 10. Absolutely. This duck donut place, it has a bunch of really cool, unique donuts that you can choose from and I uh, highly recommend going and checking it out. So yeah. we're actually gonna head continue down south down the coast and, and make our way back up we actually have a lighthouse tour today at two o'clock yeah, on the, the north group. side mm -hmm. we're excited to take you guys along today and show you what's going on in outer banks yep all right <laughs> stay tuned stay tuned So we're in Corrala, North Carolina, just up the road from where we're staying, and we're about to do a lighthouse tour. It's a historic lighthouse. It's what it's called, what it's called? What? What's it called? Um, I, I don't really know, but it's Currituck, I think, or Currituck? Currituck, yeah, I think that's right, Currituck, Currituck Lighthouse. Yeah. So we're gonna do a tour with the group, and it actually is really cool. We're actually gonna Beautiful. go to the top of it, which is gonna be super sick. Yeah. So we had to sign a waiver last night yeah. <laughs> to, to be able to go up there, so it's gonna be cool. Um, yeah, we'll show you guys what it's all about and uh, take you along. Yep. So we're making our way up the lighthouse. Oh, I think it's it is really cool. <laughs> we're already so tired. It's how many steps again? 220. Oh, good day, guys. We're basically here. 220. 
220 steps. So pretty crazy. Legs are burning, but can't wait to show you this view. That's really sick. Guys, we made it. We made it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so beautiful this up here. This is beautiful. It's nuts. We were like right over there earlier. So over there is the Atlantic Ocean. We're gonna get some photos and videos up here and we'll show you what we oh get. Lord. So we just finished the Currituck Lighthouse. Yes, and it was definitely worth it. Yeah. So beautiful. So this beautiful. So cool. So we actually just found out it's $12 a person to be able to get to the top. Mm -hmm. And it actually is totally worth it because you can get up there and the views are just insane and so beautiful. Yes. You're able to see like the classic like Outer Banks views um, to walk this on way. one side and then you can see the Atlantic Ocean on the other. Hey, I don't know if we can walk through this, but we're gonna try. This is actually the the light uh, attendant's house. What do they call it, Megan? What are the light attendant's house called? Oh, um, groundskeepers? Ground yeah, the lighthouse keeper. Yeah, the lighthouse keepers. It's been here since the 1700s, right? It's yeah. been a long time. Um, yes. But yeah, it was it was really, really beautiful. Highly recommend. We thought it was gonna be really strenuous to like get up to the top and it honestly wasn't that bad. It wasn't too bad. It was 220 steps. It sounds more intimidating than it is, I think. Yeah, yeah, it, it wasn't bad at all. I think you could do it. You know, don't, if you're a little bit scared of heights, it is really high up. I can see where that could be intimidating. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but other than that, it's totally worth it. The views are just nuts. Yeah. Uh, we got some photos out in front of it. Yes. And we met this cutie little dog named Maggie. Oh, person, but she oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, and she's cute. Oh, she's ready. She is camera ready. <laughs> Maggie was so sweet. It's actually one of, they're still like modern day lighthouse keepers. And so um, the lady who did our tour is one of them and she has a beautiful dog named Maggie. What kind is it again? It's a uh, Bernese Mountain Dog. Bern yeah. And her name is also Meg. So yes. the lighthouse keeper's name is Meg. She was our tour guide. Megan. Uh, yes. She goes and, by Megan. And then uh, she has the Bernie's Mountain Dog, whose name is Maggie. Yeah. Yeah, it was so cute. It was so, so she sweet. She was like loving all over us. Yeah. She gave me a little kiss. <laughs> yes. Maggie did. Yep. Was a, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little cherry on top to our yep. lighthouse experience. So we're actually going to go around and get some more videos and photos and we'll show you what we get into. Yeah, let's do it. James, come here. Turn that way. James, I pointed that way. 
He's really putting in the effort to get the shot. <laughs> his head was in the tree. Gotta do it. And he has no idea what's on his head right now. <laughs> yeah, I honestly have no idea what's going on. <laughs> you just got a lot of, um, I don't really know what I do what it takes to get the shot, homie. Some pollen what you is taking do. a ride on your toboggan. This place is so pretty. Do you know what the name of this park? It's historic. Curry Cup Park or something or like it's Curry Tuck Park? Curry I don't know, we'll tell you. We'll tell you what's up. Yeah. Um and also this is the whale house right through the trees there. Yeah. It's so and that's great. actually historic too. I don't know the significance behind it, but we'll also tell you what that's well, about. It's also an iconic photo spot yeah. for this place. That's really it's pretty. on postcards and all yeah. that. I guess we're gonna head back and probably get ready because we got a dinner to go to tonight. So yep. We'll see you there. I can't even turn it. Hang on. <laughs> there we go. Wait, come back. Oh, Just I'm redoing sorry. that part. <laughs> All right. We'll see you there. See you there. So we just made it back from the bonfire and just here to update you on what we did tonight. After the lighthouse, we went and explored around a little more and got back here, changed clothes, got ready for our dinner, and it was so good. We were actually at the um, search and rescue. Isn't that what it was called? The, the life-saving station? Life-saving station. But I don't know that that's what the restaurant is. Yeah, it's called that. It is? It's the Life sta Saving Station restaurant. That's what it's called. Oh. We actually had our own private room, which was so cool. And we had some salads to start. And then we had a steak with the sweet potatoes and what was the green stuff? Asparagus. Asparagus. <laughs> And it was amazing. Honestly, that steak was, was so, so good. It was so good. Oh my goodness. So we and loved honestly, it. honestly, the presentation of the food here at the resort has just been like top notch. I know. Honestly, it was so fancy. And I honestly, like a little low key am not fancy. And so I was like, I don't know which fork to use. Not low key. <laughs> like high key, I'm not. So we were like doing the thing where you like use like, the different what forks and fork stuff. Use Bro, I wasn't. For salad, I definitely wasn't using the right forks. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Then we had this, uh, it was like a lemon tart, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was so good too. I don't know really if I got a video of that. If I did, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. But yeah. Then we got a group photo, and hopefully I'll be able to throw that in here. And then we all came back to the room and changed and got ready to go to a bonfire. They had set up a bonfire for us, which was so cool. So we went down too. there and had s'mores. Mm -hmm. S'mores. S'mores. Yeah. And they were we good were too. We were all uh, cozied up in our comfy clothes and they had blankets for us, which yeah. was great. They got us some Toyota blankets, which was awesome. Yeah. That was so sweet. Yeah. And uh, that was honestly the last time we saw everyone, um, well, as a group. I was hoping to get to introduce more people, but obviously we, we were so busy and just talking and communicating with everyone. And, um, I didn't pull the vlog camera out that much, but got yeah. some shots though. Well, it's been a busy few days. Yeah, it um, has. But yeah, some of the um, people I believe will be on our horse tour in the morning. Yeah. I'm excited to show that. I know, that. we're so excited. We booked a horse tour tomorrow, so we're so pumped. We got to get up bright and early because it starts at 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So as you guys know, we're not bright and earlier. <laughs> we're going to have to push ourselves to get up there and <laughs> see some wild horses on the beach. We're pumped because... Some people did it today and they said it was so cool. But I'm yeah. actively trying to post stories right now. That's why I'm Megan's kind of trying to catch up a little distracted. bit on the stories. <laughs> We're going to sign off for tonight. We'll show you guys what we get in tomorrow. Yep. See you in the See morning. See you tomorrow. All right. So we're at day three here in Outer Banks. Yeah. Today is our last day. We actually will be heading back to Atlanta at some point later today. Uh, this evening, actually. And so we're going to be exploring Outer Banks. We actually woke up early this morning and did our horse tour. All right, so I told you that in a moment I would show you the South Horse Fence. Right here it is. It's a little fence, right? Yeah. I didn't even think they could jump over it. <laughs> yeah. If you thought that, you would be correct yeah. because they could. Mm -hmm. 
and that was actually really cool. That was really cool. It was freezing. It was miserably freezing. It was so <laughs> it was cold. It was so cold and windy. The wind was just brutal. Honestly, it wouldn't have been that cold if it wasn't for the wind. It yeah. Was, it was very, very windy. <laughs> Yeah, but honestly, it was cool. It was a cool experience. We did end up seeing uh, six wild horses and we did see a baby, mm -hmm. which supposedly is really hard to do. Yeah. Um, we didn't get to see any on the beach. They were actually off the beach because of the wind, supposedly. And so they were... And that's like the iconic shots people get, which is the horses I know. on the beach next to the water. But we didn't get to see any this time. And that was because of the wind. Yeah. Some said. of the people that we were here in Outer Banks with did the tour yesterday and they actually saw a few horses on the beach. Um, so we were sad that we didn't get to see that, but yeah. we got to see them anyway, so that was really cool. We're actually just stopped in at, uh, what is it? Duck Cottage Coffee? Yes, Duck Cottage. Duck's yeah. Cottage. So it's a bookstore slash coffee shop. Uh, they have some pastries and things. We actually ended up getting some bagels over at Lighthouse, um, Lighthouse, bagels. Lighthouse Bagels. It's actually a really popular spot. A bunch of people went there yesterday that we were with and they all really loved it. So we decided to do the same. Yes. And honestly, it looks amazing. Megan looks ended so up getting good. a, what'd you get? I got the bacon, egg and cheese on a rosemary olive oil bagel. And Ooh. it is looking pretty good. It does look good. All right, <laughs> let's give it a first bite. Okay, let's do it. Good. Oh my gosh, that olive oil flavor. Be hidden. So good. Yeah, I ended up getting really a nice. sriracha. A sriracha everything. Uh, everything bagel with uh, sausage, egg, and cheese. So I'll give it a shot, let you know <laughs> what I think. <laughs> Was it good? Really good. Got a little bit of spice to it, which I like. Mm -hmm. It's a hitter. So we're gonna sit here and enjoy. We actually have some duck friends. Some duck friends that are hanging out with us. But yeah, we'll show you what we get into today and I'll take you along. So we made it back home. Sorry we didn't give you an update. It's actually been about three days since we got back from Kerala, North Carolina, uh, the Outer Banks. Um, we actually had an amazing time. Toyota, thank you so much for hosting us and letting us be a part of so much awesome stuff. We got to do the lighthouse tour. We saw the horses on the beach, which we didn't see them on the beach really, but we know that they go there. We actually saw him in a sandy neighborhood, which was still cool. We got to see the little baby. What was the little baby's name, Megan? Dove. Dove, such a cutie. It was so sweet. Megan actually was the first one to spot him, weren't you, Meg? Yeah, I was. Yeah, you're right. I was. I was like, dang, good up, bro. Yeah, they were they were kind of hiding. So it was, which I'm sure you've already seen at this point, yeah. but they were uh, kind of hiding behind some trees in a little open like field. And so I was excited to see them. Yeah. So then we went shopping around. We got some gear. Uh, Megan got an Outer Banks sweatshirt, which is awesome. She did so good on that. 
And we got this magnet that says Currituck, Currituck, North Carolina? Currituck. Currituck. Yeah, so that's the lighthouse we went up in, which is cool. We actually, town. we actually didn't get a a um, a Outer Banks magnet, which made us sad. They were all so bad. So they were bad. It just wasn't worth just it. Go to the right spots. Uh oh, Elsa girl. She if you if you put out any, oh, she if just picked you, it three oh no, times in the front. <gasps> Elsa, you bad kitty. Kitty. Just kidding. Oh, You're not a bad girl. No. She just likes a comfy new spot. So I should be able to just push them back through yeah. hopefully the thread here show now i'm going to show off Sorry, my I'm sweatshirt my dinner so we went to this place our called our sweatshirt oh, <laughs> sorry our sweatshirt so we went to this place called surf and spoon we showed you guys and they have this little hobbit pink door which is so cute it's literally our vibes 100 percent. it's such an awesome spot and we got this sweatshirt. look how cool so awesome. it's such pretty colors they had a bunch of really great stuff and highly recommend if you drive south in the Outer Banks area, that's gonna be where you wanna go to explore and get that awesome froyo. I probably look so rude eating, but I'm very hungry. No, nah, Maggie's a little shaky right now. I gotta Maybe get some food. About this food we've though. we've had a long day. <laughs> yeah, Megan's parents. I don't know if you guys remember our Asheville vlog, but uh, we went to this place called Rocky's Hot Chicken, and it's literally I dream about that place because it's so good. The spicy is so good. The ranch is amazing, and. Megan's parents were actually driving through Asheville yesterday and they were, they were like, hey, y'all need to go to Rockies. Well, those little angels went by and picked us some, picked up us some <laughs> and uh, brought us exactly what we wanted. And so Megan's got the Rockies hot chicken I'm going, bro. I'm so excited. I already ate half of it yesterday and then eating, which this was half. So like it's yeah. a full plate. It's a lot of food. Yeah, it's amazing. But yeah, that so. was so sweet for them to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Again, thank you so much, Toyota, for bringing us up there for letting us be a part of such an awesome trip and seeing everything we had so many amazing dinners met so many amazing people that we are definitely going to be keeping in touch with and hopefully meeting again and yeah now our floor is yeah don't crazy look. again <laughs> because <laughs> we're actually getting ready to go on another adventure so we're actually heading down to the 38 area to explore and do some Another beach trip again. Some beaching. So we're really excited about that. Yeah. Thank you guys for following along this vlog. Remember to like, subscribe, follow us on TikTok, Instagram, yep. all those things. All the things for and, usual. Uh, and we'll yeah, thank you so much. I just want to say thank you too to Toyota. And I'm just so thankful for this opportunity we had. And we truly had the best time. We love Outer Banks and highly recommend it. Yeah, highly recommend it. It's really, really cool. So. Yeah. But yeah, we'll see you guys in the next adventure. See ya. See ya.